what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so i am super super excited to bring you day six of my halloween makeup looks the nightmare before christmas is seriously my all-time favorite movie and i thought what better halloween look to do for you guys other than jack skellington himself the king of halloween hello so if you guys want to see how i did this cartoony yet still somewhat realistic jack skellington look then just go ahead and keep on watching Starting off this tutorial, I'm going to be putting in these black sclera lenses. Then I'm going to be applying my base, which is a white Ben Nye cream. I'm using my fingers to apply this white cream because it helps warm up the product just a little bit more in preparation for better blending later. Going in with a fluffy brush now, I'm going to be blending out that white cream. And also, if you guys were wondering why I applied my sclera lenses first rather than later, it's because I knew I was going to cry them out. So if you have trouble putting in contact lenses, maybe put them in before you do your makeup so you don't cry them out later. Now I'm going in with this white face powder and I'm going to be setting that cream. Also, if you guys don't have a white face powder, you can use a white eyeshadow, translucent powder, or even baby powder. Now I'm taking this Kat Von D eyeshadow quad and I'm going in with that base eyeshadow and I'm going to be starting my contouring. Still using that same contour color, I'm taking it on a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to be placing it in the natural creases of my eyes. I'm also taking it up a little higher on the brow bone just so I can get that skeletal shape that Jack Skellington has. Now I'm going to contour where my nostrils are just to emulate those two lines that Jack Skellington has for his nose. Using that fluffy brush and same contour shade, I'm just going to be darkening the contour around my cheeks. And I'm going to be trying to make it a little bit more skeletal looking as well. Give yourself a jawline if you don't have one already. Continue making this look more skeletal by contouring on a bottom jaw. Then I'm going to be using this, it's a dark gray, I promise, it's not black. But I'm taking this dark gray and I'm going to continue darkening all the shading that I just did. Do you guys have a favorite Tim Burton film? If you do, let me know down in the comments which is your favorite. If you're not a person watching who has never done a makeup before, I think this makeup is super simple and I think it could be done by anybody at any skill level, honestly. So once you're done contouring with that base brown gray, you could probably stop there then go straight into the darkening of the face paint, but I'm a perfectionist and I really wanted to add a little bit more depth to my look so I went in with a black eyeshadow and I continued to contour those areas I've been contouring this entire time. Going in with a black face paint and a detail brush, I started to outline the contours. I also decided to take that black face paint into the furrows of the brows, making sure to connect it back to that skeletal shape of the eyes. When filling in the nostril areas on the nose, I did paint it at a slight angle because if you look at Jack Skellington, those two lines on his nose go in at an angle a little bit. 
going to outline the skeletal cheek contouring. Now I'm going to be taking that same white cream base and putting it all over my lips and setting it with a white powder again. Using a detail brush, I'm going to be making two lines coming from the corners of my lips, connecting to the bottom portions of that contour we did. Using small line streaks, I'm going to be creating the teeth on the top and bottom portions of the lips, using that line we made that connected to the contour as a reference on where to stop. When doing the teeth, it's best to try to have a really steady hand. So to help you guys with this, you could try to place your elbow on a table or even hold your wrist so you can have better line control when it comes to doing the teeth. Now I'm just gonna be filling in the skeletal eye holes that we did. Also, try to not get this black face paint in your waterline because it will bleed into your eye and it will cause a foggy film over your eye. You can fill in the waterline with a black eyeliner. Still using that face paint, I'm going to be adding small lines into the skeletal area of the contour just to create a little bit more shading. I forgot to outline my temples earlier, so I'm doing that now. Outline the jawline you've never had. Now I'm taking that first eyeshadow we used to contour and placing a little bit between the teeth, just so it can have a little bit more shading. Last thing I'm going to do is paint my neck and ears black. Then with the power of a costume change, you just became Jack Skellington. I did add a gray slash silver off-white wig just because I didn't want to show my red hair and I didn't have a black hairspray to color my hair black, but you can always do a bald cap and just paint your entire head white or use your natural hair, it doesn't matter. But other than that you guys, I really hope you guys like this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you know when I post again. And until next time you guys, bye!